Good day everybody. Have you ever felt there was something that just wasn't quite right and it's just nagging away at you and you don't know what it is and you slowly begin to realize what was going on? Well, this is a reconstruction of the lighthouse of Pharos and in this video I'm going to say that this is a pyramid or rebuilt from a pyramid that was destroyed in an earthquake this lighthouse built just after Alexander's time in Alexandria itself was destroyed in an earthquake the rest was converted into a fortress and I'm gonna say that at least the bottom part was a pyramid it even looks like a pyramid it has the sort of earthquake proof slopes that you find in Egypt and that you also find that the ink is used as well and I think the lighthouse was just that just the top bit and I'm saying that the rest of it the Greeks came along they plunked this this cone on top and, and this statue and yeah that's what I'm saying and I'm gonna prove it so let's go this is see that's Egypt, that's a mastaba. It, they didn't have to make it earthquake proof, but they did because they were so used to doing it. Now, is this a mountain in Peru somewhere? Taken by some backpacker in Machu Picchu? No, this is Egypt, Giza mastaba, and it looks like it looks Peruvian. And uh, another reconstruction, this lighthouse was on its own island and it was just off the coast of Alexandria if we look at the map this let me just explain the position it, it was here and this whole island was holy because there are temples Temple of Isis, the Pharos and the, 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 the Poseidium now island of Pharos Pharaoh, Pharaoh the pharaoh, the island of the king, the household. Pharaoh me seems to mean, to me, it means householder. The householder, he of the royal household. And basically, what this implies is, if we look at something like a pyramid, it's a pair, it is also a, a para, a, a para, uh, it, is a, it, is, it is like, a, it is symbolic of royalty. And therefore, this was a pyramid. It's in the name, Pharos. Pharos. It was a pyramid. This was a holy site. That's why it looks like a temple. I've been thinking, what does this look like? And yes, it looks like a temple. Now, the island is holy. Offshore islands often are. I'm going to prove that right now. This is Cornwall. And yes, there's a lot of Chinese tourists in, in Britain now. And you see, this is almost like Atlantis. You see, you walk along this, this, this causeway to... This is St. Michael's Mount in Cornwall. And I think the reason... You know, I've written my own book and I've even described why I think this is called St. Michael's Mount. The reason is Germanic mythology. St. Michael, of course, fought Satan, threw Satan out of heaven. Satan landed on Earth and, and tried to corrupt Earth. You know, that's the C.S. Lewis... Uh, C.S. Lewis was heavily inspired by this as well and so why should this be associated with St. Michael and the devil and the reason is in Germanic mythology it was a, a character similar to Vulcan who was the ring lord the real life lord of the rings or the real mythological lord of the rings and he was imprisoned on this island an offshore island and he was told to make rings eventually he took his revenge on a royal family and flew away so these things these hills especially hills offshore hills Hill, look at the word, hill, hell, holy, all the same word, the underworld. And the same thing in France, uh, on a much bigger scale, as you can see, it's, it's a much bigger tourist attraction. Uh, a lot more people go here. Uh, it's unbelievable. Again, a holy offshore site, and that may as well be a lighthouse. And this replicates all over Europe. This is Heliogland off the coast of Germany. In the North Sea, and if you look at the name, it's Hell, Hill, Holy. It's a hill. And if you look at the island, it is a hill. It's hill land or holy land. Now, 
Is this some exotic beach somewhere? No. This is Poland on the Baltic, and this place is called Hell. It's near Gdansk. And as you can see, it's a peninsula, offshore island peninsula. And because it's called, I can't see any hills on it, there could be, but because it's called Hell, that means it was holy, hill, holy hell. This is the home of the Ring Lord, Vulcan, and there may have been sacred shrines to him here in ancient times as a place of pilgrimage. And if we're going to look at what the lighthouse used to be before the Greeks arrived, well, let's look at this. The Aryans spread around their religion everywhere. That they, they, they came to India from somewhere else, possibly from somewhere around Egypt. And if we look at this, this is a lot like what ancient descriptions of the lighthouse were. We, we have it basically a four-sided pyramid and a ball on top. It, even, there's even a statue. It looks like, looks like a statue there. And there's a ball on top there. This is sort of what we had on the lighthouse as well. This is in southern India. The South Indians seem to have made a lot of pyramids looking like this. And if we actually look at that, that's what a Roman lighthouse looks like. It has these the recesses. Pictures, old pictures of the lighthouse, they look like a skyscraper, you see. Now, this is very embellished. It, it didn't look like this. But as you see, it, it, it was on this holy island off the coast. This would have been a scene of... Um, this would have been a, a place of worship of Vulcan, the fire god. You see. And they've converted a temple into a lighthouse. That's why it's so big. It, it, it was a wonder of the world. And it was... It had the same name as Pyramid. Pharaoh. Fer, pera. Pera. It was a... It was a... It was a pur. A pur means house. Again, southern India. And I want you to look at these at these recesses, and I'll just bring up what a Roman lighthouse looks like. This is Dover, you see. And the Roman lighthouses would have copied the lighthouse at Alexandria. So this, I'm, I'm sort of proving right now, this weren't no normal lighthouse. This was a temple. Bora Badur, that's a very embellished thing indeed, but it's got this ball-like object on top. And I think this is the closest analog to the reconstruction that we've seen of the lighthouse at Alexandria. And on the right we have a Mayan pyramid, on the left we have an Indonesian pyramid. And as you can see, it's much the same. It's very similar, and here I'm bringing up the lighthouse at Alexandria by comparison, a, a possible pyramid-like structure, and then there's this temple on top of the pyramid, you see? And they've decided to turn it into a lighthouse. It's almost as if they've converted it. I've got another reconstruction here. Look at this. As you can see, it's, the lighthouse is actually on top of a pyramid-like object, and of course it's just a reconstruction. We don't know what the pyramid actually looked like. A another reconstruction. This here would be like the wall you get around third, the Third Dynasty complex of Zosa, pyramid complex, around uh, the wall around Giza. And this is from Tiwanaku. People would recognize this. This is essentially a join. Metal would have been poured in. And guess what? I, I dialed up Wikipedia and I looked up the article on the lighthouse at Alexandria and it actually told me that the stones of the base would have been encased in lead. They poured lead over them. They reinforced them. So similar techniques. This was an ancient pyramid possibly built by Proto-Peruvians or Proto-Egyptians and it was converted. It may have collapsed and they decided to rebuild. And the lighthouse at Alexandria has inspired so many pyramids around the world and towers such as this. This is actually on the coast. I've been, I was actually here for a couple of days. Ardmore, Southern Ireland. That's actually a pyramid. The mystery of the round towers is why is there more effort put into this than that? Now they were copying the towers at Ravenna but Ravenna was copying the towers 
in Alexandria, the Tower of Alexandria, and, and these actually like a pyramid, it's got top windows, they always face the compass points. And this would have been a, 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 a clone of the, the, the turret on top of the lighthouse at Alexandria. It's amazing, when you go to Ireland you see these, they're like a thousand years old, they're a thousand year old skyscrapers, and they put more effort into these than the churches, that they are in better, better condition. This is an Arab text of what at least the tower looked like, and it's missing the base. So I'm not sure what's going on there, but as you see, there was like a ball on top, maybe a mirror and a statue. This is um, this is a, a a a a Roman another Roman lighthouse. I think this one is in England. It, it's Dover again. And yes, funnily enough, they built a church next to it. I guess because religious. Religious origins, religious. There was some religious association with that. With that. Dover. And just to show the other side of the argument, yes, the the, the Greco-Egyptians did. This is the Temple of Edfu. They did build Inca-like things, like on this this earthquake angle. But they would have been inspired by something earlier, something that is now gone. Well, thanks very much. Bye bye.